How's it going? Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use my add-on, the CinePack. Now, CinePack is a pack of pre-animated camera moves that you can find on Blender Market. And basically, it includes 60 different camera moves across 8 different categories. And the CinePack was used to increase production values quickly and easily with a one-click solution. All the camera moves in the pack are completely customizable, so you can use the camera moves in the pack as they come, or you can use them as groundworks for more complex camera moves like we can see here. Uh, like I said, it's got an easy one-click workflow, which I'll show you with the new custom interface. And you can use for any kind of projects, such as architectural videos, product reels, short films, music vids, video games, motion graphics, anything you can think of really. So when you buy the cine pack, you will receive a zip file, which looks like this. What you want to do is just open that up and click and drag the cine pack folder onto your desktop or just anywhere where you can find it later. So I've already done that and it's just here. So inside the pack, what you'll get is an assets folder, which has all of your pre-animated camera moves in there, an extras folder, which has like lighting essentials, some smoke packs and stuff like that. The actual add-on itself, which we will install into Blender in just a sec. The CinePack wallpaper and a how to use TXT. So I'm going to go ahead and install the add-on first. So what you want to do is just open up Blender, as you would do normally. And the same with installing any add-on really. You just go to Edit, Preferences, go to Install, navigate to that folder, CinePack, and then double click on CinePack add-on.zip and then just wait a couple of seconds while it loads. Click the checkbox and then in this drop down menu you want to go to select CinePack folder. So this is going to tell the add-on where the pre-animated camera moves are. So if we just go to here, navigate to the CinePack folder again and then double click assets and then just go ahead and hit accept. Save your preferences and we have now successfully installed the add-on. So if you hit N, what you'll see now is a CinePack tab on the side with all our different camera moves. So we've got chaotic, cinematic, extras, flyovers, pans, pulls, pushes, and zooms. And inside, we can see all different previews of each of the different camera moves. So as you can see, there is quite a lot here to choose from. And what you can do is, if you don't want to look individually, you can hold shift and just click and drag over all of them. Now we can see all of them here. So what we can do is before we import it in, we can actually preview what they're going to look like. So if we just go to cinematic and go for crane shot sweep, you can either hit play here and it will just take a couple of seconds for the uh, preview to show up here. Or we can go ahead and press open in image viewer, which will open up your system's default viewer. And then as you can see, we can see a preview of the camera move before we put it in. So I like the look of that. Go ahead and click import. And there is our camera move. So if we just scrub through the timeline, we can see the movement is all there. If we hit zero, we've got that nice sweeping camera move, which is great. So I'm just going to change the focal point. I'm just going to change it to Suzanne. Maybe scale it down a little bit. There we go. So what we're going to do is just delete that. And let's try a couple of different ones. So let's go for chaotic and maybe missile strike and then import. And as you can see, we've got, got our camera move, which is meant to emulate a missile strike. So if we hit zero, that is really cool. So I like that one. And you can use these for pretty much anything you can imagine, you know, any sort of project. It's just really quick and easy to get some high quality cinematic camera moves. You've got simple ones like slide down. So they are what they say they are. So this is just a slide down. Sort of like on a crane. If you think of a, a movie set, this would be like a, a crane, crane shot. Again, just delete that. Maybe go for a zoom. Let's go for... Contra zoom, import that. So it's that famous uh, Jaws shot when Brody sees the shark for the first time on the beach. If you uh, if you remember that, really. Really cool. And what is good is with all these camera moves, they are completely customizable. So if we go to something like 
uh, crane shots. No, let's go for let's go for something else. Let's go for push forward, pan up. So this is just pushing forward and panning up. And on every single camera move, you've got this little handle here, which is an arrow, which is actually facing in the direction of the camera. So with this selected, you can move this around without actually affecting the animation itself. So let's say if we wanted the camera the other side, we can just twist that round, put that there, move it down a bit. This is still with it selected. And now it's the other side. So we can go to there. And what's good is, is you can actually animate this handle on top of the animation we already have with the camera and the empty. So, for instance, with this selected, hit I, lock crop scale, maybe go to frame 120, hit R, X, and then maybe G, and maybe that again. And now what we've got is a more complex camera move. You see? So they're all fully customizable. You can move them, scale them, rotate them, anything like that without affecting any of the uh, animations itself. So this is just a pan up, or a pan right, sorry. You know, and we've got more exciting ones as well. So we've got the standard ones covered. Uh, we've got twist push, this is quite a cool one. So it's a push and a twist. And again, like I said, you can just grab this handle and scale it, rotate it, move it around, you know, do anything you want without affecting that camera move. So it's really dynamic, really quick and easy. And it takes no time at all. So what I'm gonna do is open up a few different Blender files to show you how you can use this in a real world example. So this is just a project that I downloaded from Blendswap, so credit to the artist that made this. It's just a nice pack of mints. So we want to add some camera moves to it. So we hit N, go to Cine Pack, and let's go for... Uh, maybe let's try a flyover. Let's go for, say, a flyover zoom. We can look at that. So it flies over and zooms in. That's pretty cool. Go ahead, click Import. Let's go ahead and have a look at this. Quite nice. Uh, let's just go ahead and open up a different one. So again, this is one downloaded off Blendswap, and this guy has created a very nice model of the moon. Let's go for space. So space camera floating. Go ahead and import that. And what we can do is if we grab that handle that I spoke about, if I, and then what we can do is hit play, and I've got a nice floating camera that emulates space. And it does have a few more frames. So again, super, super quick and easy. And just have a play around with it. So again, super, super easy just to create these cinematic effects. And there are so many different ones to choose from. So if we open up another one, so if we import that, grab our little handle, hit zero. We can move this around. We can rotate. Let's see what we've got. Helps to go to the first frame. And let's hit play. So that's really cool contra zoom shot. Very famous in a lot of movies. And yeah, that's basically the cine pack, guys. So you've got all these ones to, to choose from. So that is it for cine pack. If you do enjoy this, please uh, feel free to write a review on Blender Market it would really help me out. And if you have any questions on how to use this or just any questions in general, feel free to get in touch. When you buy the pack, you also get my email on the text page. So that is it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.